are you doing today? I'm well, thanks. Yes, ma'am. Load them up. We are so excited. Thank you so much. How's everybody's spirits in there? Oh, we're, we keep it high. Doing good? Thank you for everything that you guys are doing, really. And of course, your pies. Yes. Can't forget the pies. <laughs> All right. So we'll put them there. So how's everyone doing? Doing good. We yeah. got a little busier uh, yesterday, uh, but today's it kind of slowed back down again. These are cake balls. I don't know that we've had these. We brought these to you before. Oh my gosh. So you have an assortment there. Yeah. So your workers doing okay? Oh yeah, they had a busy night last night. We had a, a big surge. Had a so COVID-19 is just here and we realize that our medical healthcare workers are just overtaxed and just really stressed and with all the, the everything that they have to do to help these patients. I have a gift of feeding people. And so my first thought was, oh, we got to feed them because they've got to be healthy. And so I called some friends and we kind of pulled our money and just called a restaurant that was close to one of the hospitals and we thought, well, maybe you can, you know, have finger foods or grab and go foods and feed them. And we kind of started with that. Well, we did the one delivery. And the next thing I knew, I was getting calls from people I didn't even know. And they're going, I've, I've put money in the mail for you for what you're doing. This is great. And I, Next thing I knew, I had $1,000 in my hand, and I was thinking, I don't know what to do with this. I'm not a 501c3. I don't know how to carry this out. I don't have hospital contacts. And that's when you know my good friend Carla showed up. So together, we just came up with this idea. And on the other end, I was hearing people that were sharing with me, you know, how do we help? How do we help? I'm, I'm used to a hurricane where we can go and help our neighbors, and uh, but we can't get out of our houses. And so there was this this hunger for for those to give in um, donations and and things like that. So as we pulled this effort together in 48 hours, I must say it was the Lord's hand pulling donors with restaurants because we had a heart for these local eateries that were suffering from this situation. And then the idea just came, let's take donors, let's work through our, our local eateries, let's get fun, uh, the funding can go to them, and then we'll go uh, have them deliver food and meals for 30 people, or 30 meals, to uh, these hospitals. Uh, for us, they are really excited that these meals are going towards you guys, how hard you work, so. Thank you so much for Just that. The thought and the, and it the is so exciting to see the outpouring of support from our community. And one of the things that I just love about feeding the front lines, it is that it, it does come full circle. So we're taking donations from the community and using those to purchase meals to honor our staff from local restaurants. These local restaurants need our support during this time. And so it's really a community supporting community effort that is beautiful to see come full circle. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, like I said, <laughs> God bless you. Thank you so much. I'll give you Thank you. Thank you. It is a full circle ministry. Uh, right now, uh, our restaurants are on the edge uh, of not making it. Uh, our frontline uh, healthcare workers are exhausted and putting in 12 to 18 hour shifts. So, to be able to provide funding and money to the local restaurants that we want to thrive and be able to come back on the other side of this virus. Uh, while also supporting the healthcare workers who are actually, you know, addressing and caring for the most severe cases. Uh, it just makes so much sense uh, that we can actually support two causes with one uh, donation. This wasn't planned. There's no business plan. There was no, let's do this organization. And I've just been amazed at how you know, we kind of get scared and we're going, but what about this? And the next thing we know, somebody calls or, you know, somebody pops into the scene. It's like, okay, God provided them. We wanted to be a sponsor in feeding the uh, front line because we thought it was uh, some way that we could show support for them while they're working and, and taking care of us. They're an extremely stressful job and, and sometimes they don't have the time to get away uh, and take care of themselves, much less their families. So this was a way that we thought was a brilliant idea. And, and there's so many great restaurants and, and this was a great ministry to help touch lives that were touching us. 
This is for you guys on behalf of Feeding the Front Lines. Is Thank that, you. Is this a message for all the work that you guys are doing? That's awesome. For Thank every you so delivery, Thank you. Thank you. what we have is we have a letter that is from the front line. It tells a little bit about who we are and our heart for them. And then we have messages of prayer and encouragement that they're able to read. This, this is a letter from Feeding the Front Lines. This is the nonprofit organization. Along with the meals, the organization provides notes of encouragement from the people who donated money. So for our staff to be able to know that this isn't just a meal, this isn't just an amazing meal provided by the community, it also is backed by people who took the time out of their day to write encouraging letters of support to them. So in other times, we might have people come up to the hospital to show their support, and since they can't do that, they're providing these encouraging words that our staff are able to read while enjoying the meals. So it takes, a, it takes these meals to a whole nother level of appreciation with our staff. The messages are heartfelt. The messages are the heartbeat and the heart of the community out there that wants to be doing something. And the report that I've gotten back from the different hospital liaisons that I have, because I talk to them more than anybody else while we're trying to schedule this, they have said that those messages give their staff hope. That those messages, while, while they appreciate the food and they love the food, they said the messages are just as important and that the messages have made it real, that the food was made by real people, by real hands, by who, people who care in the community. And so if we don't have those messages, that's okay but they just take it to the nth degree of what it really, it, it just encompasses the whole thing and makes it that much more special to the healthcare heroes. It really shows what our community is made of. And oftentimes our faith-based organizations are the ones that are leading the charge for encouragement and hope for our communities. And so for our staff to know that we have these organizations that are not only praying for the healing of our patients and our community, but also supporting our staff who are so essential in aiding the healing of these patients, it's tremendous. We appreciate the prayers, the letters, the encouragement, and they love seeing that there is a whole community of faith-based people praying for them. We've heard numerous um, messages that um, they've been inspired by those prayers and by the, so it's almost like they're being spiritually fed as well as, as well as physically fed. Oh, this wow. is a brioche with a, a caramel apple golden raisin bread yeah. pudding. Yum. Italian sweet cream. Oh my gosh. Um, they carry it with them in their hearts for days and weeks to come. It's meant so much to us, all of the community outpouring. Um, they work so hard. Um, I'm a little biased about them. They work very hard, but they, it, it means so much to them to know that there are others in the community that are rooting for them, praying for them, feeding them, and doing so much to, to do what they can to make their lives a little easier. It is tremendous. I will tell you that on the inside of this building, miracles are occurring every minute of every day. And the last thing our staff really has time to think about is the one. It's amazing to me, you know, we're wearing masks and so much of our ex facial expressions um, are hidden. But one thing you can't hide are the misting in their eyes um, when they see the generous outpouring of the community. And I've seen that over and over and over again. You know, I don't know where God's going to take it. And our, our stance is if he wants us to do it this week and then not after that, that's his plan. But if he wants to take it through COVID-19 and, and like I said, you know, even on into other things later, it's all about him. And we just, we love this ride because you know what? He never disappoints. I know that many of the restaurants we've worked with, they felt hopeless. And since the Feeding the Front Line has come into their life, it has given them that hope. And that blesses my heart. <laughs> when I hear that, that the scriptures that were sent that really touched people, I have no idea of the medical staff who are Christians and who are not, even of 
the other people that have, that have helped, whether it's in the deliveries or the preparation of the food, or I don't know if every single person knows Christ or not. I have a feeling they don't all know Him. But I know because of the feedback I'm getting that people are kind of stopping and going, okay, you know what? That verse meant something to me. The fact that this person is praying that God will protect me or that God will, you know, help me prepare the food, they're stopping and thinking. So I just have no doubt in my mind that the servant hearts of Christians is really coming out in this and and that it's it's touching people and you know it's kind of like when the, the widow lost her coin and you had all these other coins and you know where they are and that's just one little coin but you know God goes after that one and so if feeding the front line saves just one person then to God be the glory one more person got there and that's what he used for this but the human Cassandra says it won't just be one. <laughs> it won't.